Now we'll see how to solve a problem in quantum mechanics. The problem is a particle constrained to move along x-axis in a domain x lies between 0 and L has a wave function psi is equal to sin n pi x by L where n is an integer. Find the normalization constant and evaluate the expectation value of its momentum. I have taken this problem from quantum mechanics by Arutas. Here, given the wave function is psi is equal to uh, sin n pi x by L, now we have to normalize this wave function. To uh, the normalization generally says from integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, psi n star psi n dx is equal to 1. If it is a normalized wave function, then if you find out this probability, then it is equal to 1. So, if you take, if it is an unnormalized wave function, if you want to make it as a normalized one, then you psi n is equal to 1 by n psi, where n is the normalization constant. Now, you have to find out this normalization constant for this given wave function. So, integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, modulus of psi square dx is equal to n squared. So, from this equation, we can find out this. So, now you substitute the value of psi. Then it becomes integral from 0 to L sin squared n pi x by L into dx. This sin squared can be written as 1 minus cos 2x by 2. So, it is 1 by 2 integral from 0 to L 1 minus cos 2 n pi x by L. So, into dx. Now, you have to integrate this. After integration, then it is 1 by 2 x and you have to substitute the limit 0 to L and plus uh, sin 2 n pi x by L divided by 2 n pi uh, divided by L. So, you have to substitute the limit 0 to L. So, after substituting this limit, this first term becomes L by 2. The second term, uh, if you substitute the limit, it is equal to 0. So, uh, this is equal to L by 2. So, integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, modulus of psi square dx, that is n squared is equal to L by 2. So, from this, n is equal to square root of L by 2. So, the normalized wave function is square root of 2 by L sin n pi x by L. Now, we have to find out the expectation value of the momentum. So, the expectation value of the momentum is equal to integral from minus infinity to infinity sin star p psi n dx. And you know p is our operator. So, instead of p, you can substitute minus i h cross rho by rho x. So, it is integral from minus infinity to infinity psi n star minus i h cross rho by rho x psi n dx. Now, you substitute the value of psi n, then it is equal to minus 2 i h cross divided by L. Integral from 0 to L sin n pi x by L dou by dou x of sin n pi x by L. Now you have to differentiate this. Then it becomes cos n pi x by L into n pi divided by L. So if you put this and integrate the integrate it, then and it is equal to i h cross n pi by L squared into L divided by 2 n pi into cos 2 n pi by L into x. And you have to substitute the limit 0 to L. And if you substitute this limit, then it becomes, it's equal to 0. So, the expectation value of the momentum is 0. Thank you.